Hey, Lawnies, how's it going? It's Matt Dawn from Lawn Pond. Get your lawn on. Look, I know keen followers of the page and the channel are looking forward to the renovation video and results video that I had promised this weekend. Unfortunately, due to some technical difficulties, I couldn't complete that. However, that is going to be a great video to watch in the future because I go right through everything that I do, all the tools that I use and all the products that I use and all the mishaps and everything else to really get a good result. That video should hopefully be next weekend. So I hope you enjoy the first look at the Yuka that I'm helping Mamotion develop. Let's get your lawn on. G'day everyone, it's Matt Dorn from Lawn Porn. Today's video, we're gonna have a look at the Mamotion Yuka, which isn't available yet. It's actually being shown at Las Vegas CES 2024, which is a, is a tech expo. So this isn't available yet. Mamotion asked me to become a developing partner in regards to their mower. So this mower here has, is, is a prototype. It's not the actual one that's going out, but it's very close to the mark of what's being shown at CES and what will go be offered out to the public. Today's video, we're just gonna have a little look through it because I know a lot of people are keen and people are especially keen about it being a catching mower for a robotic mower, which is a uh, sticking point for a lot of people when it comes to buying mowers like this. So this is all very new, so new in fact that when it came out to me, came out in two boxes, it uh, only has Android app at the moment and I'm an Apple person so I can't even use it yet so I can't tell you the early stuff but let's have a look at the materials that uh, are all here on display. First things first, this has got a catcher, we'll look at that and this catcher will actually flip up and dump its load. So that's the automatic feature that's gonna be coming up on it. It looks quite well made, but we'll get into that in a moment. We'll look at the main mower. So this is an auto autonomous mower again that will run off of a satellite. And she's also got cameras and sensors here at the front and also a camera here at the back just to use artificial intelligence to work out the areas. So this will do multiple areas. That's one of the first questions that we get. It will do your backyard, front yard, a couple other areas. And if the RTK unit can't see this unit, the cameras are supposed to take over. However, the RTK units are pretty strong usually, even if they're on the other side of the house and not within the direct line of view. And I had no problems with the Luber uh, when I tested that in my place, so, but it's nice to know that it has that. Um, it's got a little bit of a different design, wheel-wise. It's got one caster wheel at the front, no suspension. Well, there is a little bit of suspension there, actually. Disregard that, it goes up and down a little bit. You've got the two cutting discs. They're a bit smaller than the Luba, and they've got three three blades to the circle, not four, like the Luba had. And of course, it's not as wide as the Luba. The back has some big wheels, more like a traditional uh, robot mowers. Now, I believe that this is for small areas. So this will do uh, around about 100 meters squared or thereabouts. Um, don't quote me on that, I haven't looked at it all yet. The, uh, on the side here, looks like we've got some protection guards. They don't seem to move at all, so I don't think they're actual sensor or anything like that. Not sure about this here on the side, but as you can see, this has had quite a lot of bumps and scrapes. This is why it's, uh, it's been in testing uh, before it's coming out to see me. Now, on the back of it, you'll see there's a camera that goes skyward, so that's kind of interesting. You've also got your rain sensor, some controls, you've got some buttons there, you stop, and it looks like you can change your cutter height by manually doing this. I don't know if that's going to be in the app or not, so that'll be interesting to see as well. 
at the back here you've got a little plug here and this is where the the catch is going to go and the catch is going to be powered from there as well i'll just close that up there we go now i get see if you can get a close-up of the front here baby because i know a lot of people have been keen about this little setup here so it's a couple of cameras and my shade is probably isn't helping but this here is a little wiper so that's quite interesting so a lot of people have been asking is that thing a little wiper it appears so so that's the great question there answered hopefully So it's a bit lighter than the Luba. It's got a carry bit at the front and the back, so quite easily you can move it around. And yeah, it looks like it'll be a real little winner. This is the catcher. So it's quite a little simple mesh catcher. The plastics and the metal feel nice. Putting the catcher basket onto here was a bit fiddly. Um, it took me a little while and a few swear words were said, I'll have to say that, but I got there. It's just awkward. Look at the, uh, this, is, this is what's gonna be cleaning up the leaves and the debris and sending it into the basket. That's quite interesting. The rubber feels quite, quite nice. As you can see, it's dirty, it's been used quite a bit. I like how it alternates from a solid to this one, which is a bit, that's a little bit more free. So that's kind of interesting. And this whole unit feels actually quite well made. It's got a little push button there for when you want to remove it from the mower. And it's got a little cord that will use the power of the mower, the battery in the mower to operate this. It's actually got a little wheel here as well, just before the brushes. So that's interesting as well. So the real interesting things about this mower is that it uh, is programmable and will do little patterns in your lawn if you want. It can be letters, could be little symbols. Some things you can program yourself. So that's gonna be really interesting to see what that's like. So that just clicks into there quite nicely. This clicks into there. And then this goes into that little port that I showed you before. It's quite a reassuring click. And away it goes. <laughs> the idea is, is that you can have one or multiple areas where this will dump its load and that will do that automatically so you can pit it, pick an area off of the lawn and put your clippings there and obviously you don't want to let them just pile up there you'll have to remove them later but uh, yeah I think that's uh, a really cool thing so yeah this cord's been in the wars a little bit you can see that it's been hit a few times and some of the cables are exposed here. But like I said, this is a model that has gone through the, gone through the rigorous testing and everything like that before being sent to me. So they said that there was gonna be some imperfections with this. But that's okay. I'll have to get that uh, Android phone and fire it up and then update you and uh, update the motion, obviously. Yeah, just to let you know that I have teamed up with Emotion. They asked how much they wanted to pay me and everything like that. And I said, no, I don't want any money. I just really, truly want to help your company. So please subscribe to my videos for more Luba and Yuka Emotion uh, videos because I'm going to be getting into it this season with the robot lawnmowers because they're just such a great idea for a lot of people.
get your lawn on and we'll see you in the next one.